<laughs> and we're going to start with breaking news and what's being called the largest bribery case in Ohio history. Betsy, Ohio Speaker of the House Larry Householder is in the eye of a major political storm that tonight has the governor asking for his resignation. Householder and four others arrested and charged today in a federal bribery case that goes back to the controversial bailout of the nuclear power plants. Well, as you can imagine, we've been all over this today, and we now have team coverage for you tonight. Three News investigator Rachel Polanski is standing by to help us follow the money, but we're going to start with Tiffany Tarpley. And Tiffany, these are allegations of a very elaborate scheme. Boy, Betsy, there is so much to get to. We're talking about five people, including House Speaker Larry Householder, facing conspiracy to commit racketeering charges. That, just to give you an idea of how big this is, investigators say this is the first time a political person has been facing these racketeering charges. So let's go ahead and break down this whole alleged scheme for you right now. According to the Southern District's U.S. Attorney, Householder created a nonprofit called Generation Now to funnel $61 million from what investigators will only describe as Company A in order to pass and maintain House Bill 6. House Bill 6, you might remember, provided financial bailouts for the state's nuclear power plants at Perry and Oak Harbor. Investigators say the scheme did not stop there. The conspirators are also accused of working to defeat an initiative to put that issue on the ballot, to put it up to the voters. According to the feds, a half million dollars went to householders' personal benefit. So, these other four people who are facing charges here, Jeffrey Longstreth, Neil Clark, Matthew Borges and Juan Cepetis, who investigators say worked in the roles of lobbyists and political advisors. We are not done with this case. Uh, there are things we couldn't do before, people we couldn't interview, people we couldn't subpoena, documents we couldn't subpoena, search warrants we couldn't execute, because if it got back to the enterprise, everything would have shut down. We can now do that. And so the Southern District's U.S. attorney says FBI agents are knocking on doors, serving subpoenas, and executing search warrants. So, as he said, this investigation is far from over. Investigators also say this alleged scheme filtered money to 21 candidates, political candidates, helping them with the general election, the primary election. According to investigators, all 21 candidates voted for Larry Householder as House Speaker. Only one voted against House Bill 6. Betsy, there is so much to this. And again, Governor Mike DeWine wants Householder to step down, to resign. Mm. Well, there's so much that we know now, and I guarantee you there's a lot more we're about to find out very soon. Thanks for that report, Tiffany. Jay?